In 1918, there was a Peruvian man, and he opened a hat shop under the name of City Hat Works. The first owner, Napoleon, went by Paul. Uh, his godson, when he took over the business, instead of keeping the name City Hat Works, he named it after his godfather, Paul's Hat Works. All of the owners since have uh, answered to Paul, and we answer to Paul. I think people get a little confused when they come into the shop. They, uh, they're very surprised that we're making all of the hats that you see here in the cases. We work with the best material that we can get our hands on in straw and felt. We can stitch the leather together, we can stitch everything. Hand making a hat, it has a different look and feeling than a hat that's just been stamp factory made. Um, so the shapes that we put in the hats are, are really special and unique because every single one is a little bit different because we've, we've hand done it with these wooden blocks. And then finally, we stitch everything with really good thread. We don't use any glue, we don't use any chemicals so that these hats can be renovated by any other hatter in the world and by us and thus will last somewhere between 100 and 150 years. I love the center crease and the face of this hat. It's just a very nice, sleek city hat. Um, these are imported from Ecuador. They're hand woven in Monte Cristi, Ecuador. We make all of these. These are made out of rabbit, like that. And it works out okay. A 75 year old Stetson on the inside of it. Like the leathers coming out, but it's just a very beautiful hat, and it's aged really nicely. The color of it, it's gotten dark. This is a fun one too. Because it's so high in quality, people know that this hat will outlive their whole life. 